It's been very challenging. So the year starts off pretty challenging. It's been very challenging. Challenging, but rewarding. I can't wait. I got seven, uh, six more weeks. Army veteran John LaFontaine is about to graduate the field of HVAC in high demand amid the pandemic. Everyone that's actually uh, working from home, they're using their systems more than they normally would. Um, so filters need to be changed more regularly. Instructor Bruce Ruvalo told Fox 61 COVID has put a focus on the filtration of heating and cooling systems. There's different varied levels of filtration where we can start off with like a horsehair filter, lead into a pleated filter, go to a charcoal filter, a HEPA filter, and then even add some infrared light to that. So pretty much if you go all those steps, you're pretty much killing everything. Porter and Chester Institute in Rocky Hill does a few days online and a few days hands on. This is a very hands on trade. So we've been trying to, you know, keep the whole social distancing thing going, um, which has been challenging, honestly and truthfully. Um, but I think it's very important that Porter and Chester is proceeding to move forward. The approach makes class sizes much smaller. Me being in the actual building is better for me than just sitting at home on Zoom or a PowerPoint presentation. And perhaps nothing is more hands on than cosmetology. Finding what a person's strong features are and bringing them out and hiding what they don't like, making someone feel beautiful. It's where Stephanie Camacho told Fox 61 mannequin heads have replaced real ones. Before um, COVID, we were able to work on each other and now if that's a possibility, we have to, you know, wear our regular mask, face shields, gloves. This year, it's all about adapting. Whatever the CDC or the state is telling us to do, we are doing. The students here at Porter and Chester can specialize in any one of 12 trades, many of which are very valuable, especially during COVID, including their medical assisting and practical nursing programs. Reporting in Rocky Hill, Matt Karen, Fox 61 News.